Well, hello everybody. It's that time of the day where we launch our brand new one day special and it's brought to you by Clarity, so you know it's going to be good. I cannot wait to show you this one day special. Before we do anything else though, I'm not alone. We have got the lovely Barbara. I've not spoken to, it feels like in forever. Barbara, how are you? Hi, Yanis. How are you feeling? And you've had a haircut. I th Woo! Do you know what? I thought, I thought I'd make an effort for the occasion. One day special when I got a trim. It's too much. Long hair with a little baby, not going to happen. So I thought, that's it. Short hair. How are you though? But how are the kittens? How are the kittens? The kittens are now cats. I know. They're I've seen how quickly they've grown up. They're not kittens anymore. Oh. But they're beautiful. They're beautiful. They're my joy. They're my pride and joy. They're lovely little animals, you know. Uh, do they sit on your lap yet? For your stroke? For One does. One's definitely a lap cat. Yeah. The other one's a little bit more independent. Oh. It's something lovely, especially yeah. in winter. Cats make the best hot water yeah. bottles. Sit on your lap. Watch a bit oh, of TV. do you know, we, we just had the busiest two to four show, two yeah. o'clock to four o'clock with Hayley. Hayley. Yeah. And of course, because we're working from home, staying, staying safe, I was able to go over to the kitchen and take a headache tablet and sit with huh. Ragnar in my lap for 20 minutes. And oh. it's, it's Very better calming. than anything else, you know, yeah. for calming you down, isn't it? Really calming. Um, Barbara, I love Win Linda Williams. So when, when, it, when we used so to show so, yourself coming in, you and Linda, we used to do like the Pergamano shows when we were all together. We'd have so much fun. Mm. She is so talented. And I have to say, one day special, she's done a great job with this. So talk us through, what, what have we got, Barbara? Well, do you know, uh, a, a few months ago, we launched these wonderful illustrations of Linda's in yeah. groovy plates, and they are also on the counter as well. Yes. And we looked at them, and people kept asking us, wouldn't these make magnificent stamps? And so we decided to just replicate the entire collection, and they make the most exquisite stamp sets. So what we've got here is the four seasons, yeah. and for each season, there are a boy and a girl. Uh. And what we've done is, for the ODS, we've split it into the girls and the boys yes so you can if you like buy all the boys yep. so you've got spring summer autumn winter Just boys or spring here. summer autumn winter girls which is at the bottom the entire collection which is an astounding savings yeah mm. Got to, got to say, I just want to, speaking of the savings, um, just I know how popular Linda Williams is, uh, is with the viewers at home. Uh, a lot of you are shopping ahead already for the big collection. You know, you know. Uh, let me explain. So with the one day special, you're saving £10. And as Barbara quite rightly said, you can either go for the boys. So all the seasons with the boys, which are at the top, you're not only getting the stamps, you're also getting the masks. And if you've watched Clarity shows before, you know how powerful uh, adding masks can be. So we've got our masks there. Uh, and there's the girls just down below. But mm. if you were to go for the complete collection, so with the boys, if you were to go to the boys one day special, £10 saving. If you were to go for the girls one day special, £10 saving. That £20 saving has already been taken off the price. So you're saving £20. Then on top of that, you're saving another £10. So that's £30. Pretty good, right? £30, great saving. What? As a Freedom member, you are saving a further $8.99, $18.99, I should say. So Freedom membership, if you are a Freedom member, you are saving $38.99 in total. So the £20 you would have had here, and then you're saving the £18 there. So it's a further $8.99 uh, Freedom membership saving. It's a why not deal. So my advice, if you are not a Freedom member, you are saving money by becoming a Freedom, a freedom member. member then you'll save on your postage as well, which is 395. Enjoy freedom membership for a month. At the end of the month, opt out if you want. But my goodness, the saving, Barbara, you weren't kidding. That, the price as a freedom member is incredible considering the amount that you are getting yeah. and that complete collection for 80 pounds 93. And also, just last thing I will say, we can split that price in half as well. So as a freedom member, please, I want everyone, if you're getting the full collection, become a freedom member. I don't want anybody paying full price. I want to save you that money. Uh, 40 pounds and 47 pence, your first payment as a freedom member for everything. You're, you're getting everything here. Barbara. And you know, yeah. what it looks like in, in, in other terms is that basically if you go for the boys and the girls, you're, you're getting all eight stamp sets for the price of six. And that's not included in your freedom membership. That's just the £30 savings. Yeah. Because normally each of those little sets would be £15 each. So go figure. Wow. Barbara, I'm looking at and 
you know how much I love your design team. Uh, let me just show you, because you, you touched on something. You started at the beginning of the show. You were saying that it, Linda's work, it's like a beautiful illustration from a storybook. And she has captured yeah. something here. I'm just picking up one of the boys. But there is such an innocence. It's the kind of design work that you could imagine in a storybook. So there's just one of uh, the young boys. Or how about this? Because you look, the design team, and actually, apologies, I'm, I'm not reading out names here. This is Elaine, uh, and this one's Andy. You can pick Andy's style out. I know it's when it's an Andy's one. Yeah. Uh, then we're here. This is nice because. Moving on to our next one, and you can see the stamps here, but as a design team known, you'll know, uh, Barbara, Jane here showing, use every inch. So now just taking that beautiful apple tree border around, add your own sentiment yeah. if you want. Or how about, how about, oh, this is nice. Look at this one. Uh, this is another one from Jane. Isn't that beautiful? How oh, cool. There is such an innocence to Linda's work. And when I say innocence, with the actual theme of the boys and girls, it's capturing when we're young, everything is new. You're not restricted to life. You're not, you're not conscious of you know, what will people think. If I'm going to run around and jump in a puddle, is anyone going to say anything? And Linda's really captured that special essence. Uh, so going through all the seasons here, another one where, oh, this is lovely. Look at this. This one's from Sarah. But then, Jane, and I love the flat cap. Look, Jane shows now with the white emboss. Ooh, I love that. Yeah. Just in the interest of fairness, awesome. I think I should show just a couple of the girls. And I know we, can, we will be uh, getting to demonstration. Wow, 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 look at that. Uh, that's from Julie. That is incredible. That's lovely. It's really, really nice. Or, here we go, we're talking about puddles. This is one from uh, Linda. Oh, no, sorry, it's not Linda. It's from Deb. Isn't that <laughs> I just lovely? I love it. But you're not just getting your feature character. I mean, that's your hero image. That's going to really set off the piece. Within the stamp sets, you are getting so much more. So just picking this one here, you've got your main focal image, and that's kind of your, your main focus. But then we've got sentiments, and we've also got uh, our worker stamps, our scene stamps, our, if you wanted to create borders in there. But the mask, now, uh, Barbara, talk to me about, just for anyone who might be new to crafting, I know that you, you place a lot of value on masks, and I always love it when you bring masks with stamps. What's the importance of a mask? Well, it's, basic, it's a basic stamping trick. When, you, when you're stamping and you want to create a background, you always, put, you always stamp what's in the foreground uh, to the front, then you cover it up. We always used to have to cut our masks out, yeah. and then you can stamp in. If you come to me here, uh -huh. this is what we are looking at. Now, this is something that Dee, this is a beautiful piece of artwork by Dee oh, Paramore, yeah. and this is, I'm going to emulate this in the first demo. Now, if you look here, for example, these are the two springs April showers. Yeah. So you've got the boy and the girl. Absolutely awesome. gorgeous. Putting them together in works. The yeah. They're gorgeous, right? Yeah. And I love this corner. I think the corners are just delightful. Now what, what we've got here though is a stencil in the background, a brolly yeah. stencil. Now that you have to cover up with the masks in order to be able to so you put them in first, cover them up, and then drop that. So anything yeah. at the front, the duck. The boys and girls, they have to be covered up before you can bray or, or brush the stencil into place. So this is what we're going, this is what we're looking at, and this is what we're going to be doing in a minute. So, yeah, really yeah. lovely. And as you say, Yanis, it's the assets. It's all the bits and pieces. When you, when you look at a, a set of just the little girl here, like you say, it tells a story. It so you've got her... You've got the corners, the corners in these sets. I, I've been playing, I love this. Yes. And it's so groovy. Look, if I hold it up to the camera, you can oh. see, on, you can imagine it on a groovy play. Now, Paul yeah. Church is going to be with you at eight o'clock and he's going to be showing off the groovy system uh -huh. because I know it sold very, very well the last time we came on. Look at the brolly. So that's the one I'm going to be using. 
Lovely. Um, but all of the all of the stamp sets have got beautiful corners in them, uh, just like Linda would. You know, Linda would give us that, wouldn't she? In yeah. a in a groovy plate. So so I'm looking forward to showing these beautiful Can't stamps wait. off for you, Barbara. Very quickly, and I know we've just got boards uh, stamped out showing all the stamps. And I think it's a really nice way to illustrate. I'm just going to whip through these very very quickly just to show you everything that you were getting. So here we go through the boys first. Say with the one day special, you can either go for the boys or girls or the complete collection see so you've got your main image here the border which i agree with barbara is such a fantastic border the puddle with the little boat you've got the quacking duck the sentiments and then you've got more additional corners so that's just one of the stamp sets you will be getting the masks in there as well this is another one i would imagine this is summer and there's a little boy on the tire swing, that beautiful arching apple branch. Then you've got sentiments in there, cap, so we can put a cap on the boy. Uh, you've also got little sprigs and a lovely little corner in there and some more worker stamps. Now we're getting into what looks like autumn. So having a look here, he's wrapped up. He's got his uh, kite there, the bunny, the wind going through. Uh, that is such a lovely corner. And I like the leaves too, because then you can create the illusion of uh, a gust of leaves. And you've also got two little sentiments. Sentiments are nice. We have wings. There we go. Uh, with brave wings, rather. <laughs> Sorry, it's me reading upside down. Uh, and then over here, this is the last one from the boys' collection, having a little ice skate. So cute. And you've got snowflakes, you've got the, look, that's so sweet. The puppies uh, there as well, and uh, sentiments. So that's the boys. Uh, I'll just whip through the girls very quickly. So here, I'll just show them to you. So that's just one of the stamp sets with the girls. Then we've got this one here, the geese. So we're going back through to autumn. We've got, uh, this will be summer, sorry. And then, as we all know, spring with the spring showers, April showers. Okay, so those are all the uh, stamps and the masks. 10% of the stock's already gone. We're only 11 minutes into the show. That gives you an idea of how busy we are. Uh, do take advantage of your flex payments. Please become a Freedom member if you're going for the full bundle. You're saving 38 pounds and 99 pence. Barbara, what are we gonna do? Right. So we're going to use the mask and we're going to stick with spring because spring is in the air. Yeah. And, uh, and we'll take Dee's idea and we'll simplify it. So it's the same principle, but instead of doing a double bubble, we're going to do w w one little girl. OK, um, but it's the same principle. The only difference is, of course, that we're using a different corner. Okay. This is this is just a got to have corner. I love it. Like, nice so that you can mix and match as well, Barbara. You can mix and match all the oh, elements from totally. different sets. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So moving it on, what we're gonna do is take a piece of stencil card yeah. and we'll we'll stamp we'll start stamping the elements that need to be in the front to the front and then cover them up. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is just I'm gonna use a, a lovely black juicy archival ink pad mm -hmm. and I'm gonna stamp the little girl with the brolly. Just gorgeous, really. Yeah. It, it, it's the body language of the child. If you look at the feet, it's just too gorgeous. It's just so pretty. Mm -hmm. So we'll just stamp that into the middle. Have I got the right glasses on? No. I thought, of <laughs> course, it's not a long way away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's the first thing. Yep. Bang on. Right. Excellent. Let me just show you the quality of the stamps so that anybody new to Clarity, to the world of Clarity, Ooh. will understand these are second to none. Yeah. Really and you nice. see her little feet, they're just so gorgeous. She captured a moment. Right, so they're just got... the, the sheer joy for the little girl stomping in a puddle. That's it. Yep, yeah, that's it. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to put in the corners. Yeah. We're going to straddle the, the little image, but we'll put the little here if we look from the top you'll see here we're going to dance in the but when life gives you a rainy day dance in the puddles yeah. well ain't that the truth totally. so what we're going to do now is just give the duck something to stand on okay so i'll pop the the dance in the puddles there mm -hmm. then i'll take the little duck while i'm on it so it doesn't take long to do all this no. and because you can see through the stamps it's easy to position the duck That's cute right so you're going to get all your this is what di this one dictates the size of your artwork. So now you can trim it up afterwards. 
Let's pop that one in there. This is going to be the outer edge. Uh -huh. And then the bottom one, we'll turn this round and we'll decide how large do you want to go. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So we'll turn it round. Okay. And I think we'll just bring it in about there. Yeah, nice. And then I'll probably trim off. Yeah, perfect. That's perfect. So I'll trim yeah. it back a little bit at okay. the end. Yeah. But that's no hardship. So we've got that, mm -hmm. right? We've got everything we want. And the only thing we need is still the writing up here. So we can put, otherwise, dancing the puddles doesn't make sense if it hasn't got its, <laughs> well, why? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. When life gives you a rainy day, dancing dance in the puddles. puddles. Words we could all live So by. I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is take one that's already dry. Yeah. Not because there's anything wrong with this one. It's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. But if I'm going over this with um, ink, I don't want to. It should yeah. be dry because it's a fast drying ink pad, but just in case. Okay. And what we're going to do now is take these masks. And this is what we were talking about. Yeah. Now, when they're new, they're reusable. And I would say that we're probably the only stamp company in the world that actually makes their masks to fit their stamps. Yeah. And for a stamper, this is like manna from heaven because oh. it really does take time, you know. Of course, yeah. This cutting out of masks can be quite time consuming and laborious. Yeah. I remember when we were doing exhibitions, I would always end up sitting in the hotel at night um, doing this, you know, cutting out. Let me just get a mark. I'll get them. Please. Cutting out masks for the following day, you know. Uh huh. I have a memory of that. <laughs> right, now I've got one mask, yeah. which I could put up here, but I probably don't even need it. I'm showing off now, but I just want to show you. Perfect. Right, we'll pop that one in there like so. So up, let's have a look. Can you see what I'm doing here? Yeah. Apart from and we got it. wasting we see everyone's it. time. No, not at all. What you do is, hang on, so you're just going to hold it. First of all, get when they're new, just get rid of a bit of the tack first on your... That's better. Forget the tweezers. That was not working for me. Okay. In a minute, I'm going to abandon... That's it. Got nice. it. That'll do. Uh -huh. Right. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> That's in place now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do, we've covered that up. Now we want to put that background in. Yeah. So we enter these stencils. These are dynamite. I love these stencils. They come as a pair. You get the, the umbrella one. I think they're on the show. I hope they're on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just going to put the details you on the there. You get the, the, the children or the mother and daughter look beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. And for jelly plate, for gel press. Yes. You see, you get the innie and the outie with the girls. Oh, that's good. But I, I'm not using these. I'm using the umbrella stencil, which is yeah. really cool. So wait, with the, the, we've got these the details on, on here for, for nine ninety nine, Barbara. Are we getting both? Are we getting? Are we you getting get both of them for that? Yeah. Well, that's really good. It's really good. It's very, very good. Yeah. Okay. Details on your screen very, there. Three hundred two seven zero four. If you do want to pop those into your basket. They, they're such good. The background stamps. Yeah. Well, I say that the the girl ones, the 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 uh, these ones, these are just. If you take any designer paper, any background, and then you pound, you know, with a makeup yeah. sponge, so black archival helps. ink, so yeah. you get a solid black image. It looks so excellent. Mm. You know. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. Really, really cool. Really strong. Yeah. <laughs> right. So let me just make sure that this is in the right place. Okay. Right, that'll do. And enter, now let's enter the colour. So let's do the background. Right. And I'll start in the middle with a darker colour, and then I'll use the lighter colour. So we're using the Distress Inks here, not the Distress Oxide. You okay. could use Archival, uh, no, you could, you could actually. You yep. could use Artistry Inks. I'm just going with the, this particular colour. Okay. So we're going to go with Stormy Sky. It just sounded right, you know? Yeah. But you can use a, any blue, dark blue, light blue, any blue that you've got. So what we're going to do now is just take our blue. How are we doing for time? Uh, we're all right, aren't we? We're about 20 minutes in, so we're OK. Oh, wow, there you go. Easy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use where, where the little girl is as a kind of a launch pad, you see? Right. And so I'm, I'm kind of going outwards. 
across the stencil like this. Mm -hmm. So by the time I get to the edge, it's like I'm, I'm already, I've, I've flicked away from the card. So you get a really lovely cloudy effect at the outside. Yeah. See, so you go like that, like that. And you're just, you're bouncing and you can get it dark in the middle if you like. You know, it depends how dark. Well, it's snowing here. Is it snowing in Peterborough? Ah, uh, no. But well, you know, what? that's interesting. I'm going to hit that snow then driving back. It's not yet, but I think it's it's coming. So you can see how I'm building that colour in the background there. Yeah. And now I'll take a lighter colour. Oh, that's plenty of depth there. Yeah, we've had snow all day here, oh, just no. on and off. You know? Yeah, I've got that to look forward to driving picturesque. back home. But it does look beautiful when Not it snows. when you're driving. Yeah, it, it looks, the thing is, it snows great when you don't have to go anywhere. It's when you need to get in the car, right. then you're like, oh. Oh, I know. Do no, the cats like the snow? It's around here. So now I'm just adding a little bit of the lighter colour, the yeah. tumbled glass around the outside. Uh-huh. And you can see that it just oh, nice. builds up beautifully and very, yeah. very easily. I don't nice. think you want to do more than that. That will do, yeah. actually. Yeah, that's effective. Because you can, you can overcook it if you, you know, it's just to get that mm -hmm. lovely depth in the background. And then what I can do now I've done that, let me just put the lids back on there. We're all ready now to do some colouring. It, yeah. it really isn't hard. So we can take our masks oh, off there now. Oh, look at that. And look we at can that. replace them on our carrier sheet yeah. ready for the next time. Perfect. So it's a real simple but very effective way to go. It looks so go. good, See, Barbara. Cut, cut these out. Yeah. Say that again, Yanis. It just looks so good. Just looking at it now, when you do the reveal, and that's the beauty of a mask, I always enjoy revealing the mask, and it's so effective. And it's also very, very sharp. Look, if I yeah. come up tight, look how close you are to yeah. the actual image. That's nice. That's nice. And actually, showing you the quality of the stamping as well, it's all down to your stamps, because they really are the gold standard. The other thing is, you know, and this is something that we can show off later. We're going to do this later. Yeah. If we, if we, I love this negative image. In other words, when the, the colouring, on this particular occasion, we're going to colour in the image. In the next, in the next art uh, pr sample, look, mm. we're going to leave them in, in, uh. in negative and we're going to focus all our attention on the background. Doesn't that look great as That's well? A, either way, right. they look so cute. They do look, Barbara, it looks yes, like... Yes, exactly. This looks this like is, a storybook. This story is Andy's book. work. But you know the artwork? Isn't it lovely, though? Yeah, it looks like artwork you've taken from a storybook. They're beautiful. Yes, but I just wanted to explain that these these images look so pretty, either coloured mm. in or, or yeah. not coloured in. Yeah. So let's say, for example, now I'll go to one that I've already started. Okay. So you can see how we're going to colour them in. And, and what we'll use here is our pergoliners or our polychromos, depending on which way you want, you know, what you've got in the cupboard. Yeah. And we'll use the B pencils, the B for blending. Okay. Um, we could use watercolour pencils. We could actually, because of course, um, we, we're using stencil card and also we use the, the yeah, it will work fine. So yeah. you could use watercolour, but we're going to go just with the um, the pergoliners okay. or polychromos, depending on what colour you want to go with. Right. And then it's just a question of taking the colour and let's take, for example, the umbrella here. Mm -hmm. And then we just literally, excuse me, <coughs> sorry okay. about that. That's oh, right. So you're going to colour in. Yeah. Yanis, I've got to cough. Oh, did you know what? I was going to say, if you, um, Barbara, take a swig of water. I was just going to say that to you. Take a swig of water, and I'll just uh, give a people, uh, everyone at home a reminder of the complete collection. Now, we have got the one-day special, but the majority of you are going for that complete collection, and I do not blame you. You are not saving £10 on that complete collection. You're actually saving £30, because the savings you would have had from the one-day special, so £10 if you went for the boys, £10 for the girls, that £20 has already been taken off the price. You're getting a further £10 saving. And if you are a Freedom member, and I would love everybody to become a Freedom member, you will save money. Let me put this into context. 
$8.99 is the saving for Freedom members on top of the postage, which I believe is $3.95. So as a um, member, if you're not a Freedom member, you're not going to get that $8.99 saving and you're not going to save on your PMP. So when you factor that in for $5.97, become a Freedom member, then you're still getting that $8.99 is more than covered your uh, Freedom membership for the month. And then you're saving on your postage and then you get to enjoy Freedom membership for a month. And not only that, you can split the price as well. Forget the flexi for the full price. I don't want you to pay. Everyone become a Freedom member. I'm trying to save you money. £40 and 47 pence, your first flexi payment. We are 25 minutes into the show and a quarter of the stock has gone. That's how busy we are. And it's actually, it's been following. So when we're 10 minutes into the show, 10% of the stock's gone. We're busy. Do not miss out. It's such a fantastic release from Linda Williams. And do check out that complete bundle. How are we getting on, Barbara? Yeah, I'm just I'm colouring in now, and I'm enjoying it. This is the nice. this is the therapy, isn't it? You're in your happy and, place. Um, and the yeah, the, it just is so relaxing. The thing about also the thing about um, colouring in it it, it it does it just. We, we do it in the Shack Shack, you know, that's what yeah. we do, isn't it? Every, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday in Facebook Live, we all get together and there are a whole mob of us and we all, the Shackers, we, we all hang out and we, we colour in together and we uh, doodle and, you know, it's, it's just nice a place space. to keep each other company, really. Yeah. I think really, do you know, and, Barbara, and it's really important because we, I've been saying this actually for the last few days, but it just seems like this third lockdown is really taking its toll on everybody. I agree. Yeah. I absolutely concur with you on that, mm. you know, um, mm. and 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 I'm I'm such a, you know, upbeat and fake it to make it kind of mm -hmm. keep it keep going. Same as you, you know, yeah. but it, it does. It, it does take it this time. It's it's like a bit of a grind. It does. If I'm think, honest, don't you find I've, I really do. I think everybody has felt it. I felt it as well. I think it's in the, the first lockdown. It was nice, nice weather. We were managing to get out to go for walks. Second lockdown, you could look yes. forward to Christmas. This third one, it's drudge, but it will get through it. And look, I have to say, like the Shack Shack is just a great way to hang out with like minded people and have some escapism and enjoy some crafting. It, it, it really is that, you know, and, and it's, there's nothing else. There's no other agenda. That is, yeah. that is exactly it. All you need is a little, a few pencils. Like if you, if you get the, the perga liners, you know, when we, we, all you need is a piece of paper and a pencil. When we, like at the moment, we're in Egypt. We're, we're in the Valley of the Kings tomorrow at ah. 10 o'clock, you know. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So we, we're doing, um, we, you know, we're, we're drawing Nefertiti and uh, it's just... Um, yeah, it's just fun, you know, nice. and, and, and the thing is, it's distraction. Yeah. That's what it is, Yanis. Yeah. It gives people a reason to get up in the morning and, and find, you know, find the rest of us. Uh, yeah, I just think it is part of your routine, you know, when it becomes part of your routine. Yeah, agreed. So, so you can see here this, this whole colouring in thing. I haven't got lots of colours going. I've just got the yellow, the red, a couple of blues. Mm -hmm. And now have a look now at the umbrellas and yeah. we'll see what we can do with our blending nibs because when you when you color in mm -hmm. can you see this all right am i in yeah. the right place no you're in a good place in a good yeah. place good you got I some, am in a good place have you got some right. dorsal oil there if i come up to the so if you have a look now yeah right i'm not i'm not rushing no. but you see how the blend from red to white is quite severe isn't it? it's quite stark yeah so if I if I take my blending nib, let's take a blending nib. These these are wonderful things. Mm -hmm. These are these are one of our better ideas. Pergamano, yeah. and then you get these nibs with it. And the idea is, and this is dry now. This oh. isn't there hasn't got any oil or anything. Oh, okay. We use it in in parchment craft yes. actually. But what you'll find is on card as well. When you you can smooth out uh. this, you'll see in a minute as I as I start to work on the red yeah let me just get my eye in and it smooths out the the coloring so beautifully and you just you work in layers and you just in small circular motions you just start bringing in that color and it smooths out the colors just lovely oh, so you nice. you're just taking away that texture you know from coloring in uh -huh. so i can come in again add another layer the, the B pencils are, are wax oil based yeah. and so are the uh, polychromos yes. and these, this is what I'm doing here is just building up that, 
There you go. So what would happen if we did use our dorsal oil there? Would it have any effect? Yeah, it would smooth it out lovely. Yeah. But yeah, of course mm -hmm. it would. Um, I just I just feel, you know, I, I think, well, you know, it works so beautifully dry. Yeah. But you Don't could do to. it with dorsal oil, absolutely. I just love the smell but of the cool. dorsal oil. Yeah, me too. <laughs> And so, so you just work your way through your colouring in, and if you don't want it smooth, you see, you'll see it, it does not change yeah. the um, the look. It mm. smooths it out. It makes it look like a print. I love it. Yeah. So, so basically, this is all we're doing, Yanis. And mm -hmm. and then the grey. There's a grey polychromo. These are always the best. Um, we just take a grey shadow, and then what we're going to do is just, if I take the finished one, let's have yeah. a look at this one, and you'll see here, what we're going to do is just run the grey around and inside, and you'll get a drop shadow, you see? And you can bring it in here and add that drop shadow, mm. and you can get the most delightful depth. And it just is a very gentle way. There you go. It's just a real gentle way to colour in. Lovely. And that's about it on this. So I, I just wanted to sort of show you, it's just travelling gently, you know, with beautiful, delicate stamps. I yeah. think because the stamps are so delicate, the artwork that you, you know, you, ca you can go grungy, and we will go a little bit grungy in a moment. But if I show you, that, that's that demo done. Yeah. But I just want to show you this particular masterpiece by, um, look at this, by Sheila Metzelar. <laughs> and again, you see, she's wow. just, it's a pure wow. exercise in colouring in. Look. Love that. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And it's, she's made a hanging, uh, a wall hanging with it. Look. So uh, think about pencils, alcohol markers, and love, no. a lovely opportunity. That really is nice from Sheila. Beautiful. Thank yeah. you, Sheila. And thank you, Dee, for the masterpiece. Love it. And thank you, Barbara, for sharing those tips. So what we're going to do is just let Barbara set up for her next demonstration and we're going to have a quick recap. Uh, by the way, can I just give you a little reminder of the stencils uh, just while I have them to hand. So if you do want to go for the stencils, now this is the mother and daughter. So you get both the positive and you also have, I'll just pop that down for a second. You're going to have the negative in there as well. So there's the mum and there's the daughter. So you've got the positive and negative. Looks like they're being blown away there. Uh, and then we have Mary Poppins. And then we've got here, this is getting both, uh, everything I'm showing you here. So the mum and daughter, and you're also getting the background that Barbara used. So if you do want to go for that, 9.99, I think it's a really good price. Uh, actually, we're at 60% of the stock for that option. So very popular option. Speaking of popular, one day special time, and we are busy, designed, by Linda Williams. Uh, I have to say, now typically we'd be talking about the one day special, but everybody seems to be going for the complete collection. So if you do want to go for the one day special, it's at the bottom of your screen, but the one day special, it's either the boys or the girls. So we've got all the boys lined up at the top and all the girls at the bottom. But when you start to consider what you have with the complete collection, you're not only getting the stamps, you're also getting the masks as well. I'm just going to take a moment and please bear with me here, but I think it's worth doing because we're seeing the stamps, but um, we've actually got boards with them printed out. I think this is a really good way to get an understanding of everything that you are getting. So not only are you getting the stamps, remember you're getting the masks as well. There's your main hero image. You know, you're telling the story. So you've got the little boy walking around, but this is where we start to build up the scene now. So there's the duck quacking in the background. You've got the little boy watching his boat floating in the puddle. You've got sentiments in there as well. Why do you wait for the sunshine, play in the rain? And then you've got these wonderful, I know Barbara and I, I have to agree here, Barbara's such a huge fan of that frame in there. And you've also got your corners. That is just one set that you're getting in this collection. So I'll do the boys first and then we'll have a look at the girls. As Barbara was saying, it's taking through the seasons. So spring, April showers, that was the first one we saw. Uh, then we're moving on to summer now. I love the fact we can put a cap onto the boy. Another beautiful corner. You've got apples there, the wonderful apple branch, more sprigs and really nice sentiments. So there we go, that's your summer. Then we're moving on to autumn now. So things are changing, the seasons are changing. Great opportunity to get your kite out. 
the characters, Linda's so good at creating characters. So we got the bunny, and I love the windswept look with the bunny ears, the leaves just falling and floating down. Love a really nice intricate corner, more sentiments. So same thing, everyone, you've got your hero image, you've got characters in there, you've got your worker stamps. This is nice and something I didn't point out. You've got, these look like overlay uh, stamps with those leaves. So you've got your base here, and then you can overlay the detail if you want, and then you've got these sentiments in there too. I mean, it's those small little touches that Clarity do so well. And then finally, I love this. This is your winter. So he's learning to skate. And like so many of us, the first time learning to skate, it's not going so well, but he's having fun. I love the dog. The dogs just flop down on the ice there. You've got more sentiments, snowflakes, beautiful borders coming through. So those are all the boys. Don't forget, do you mind if I just show you? I know we're going through the boards, but can I just show you this? This is from Julie. That same little boy with the dog, but the movement and the frames, when you see it all together, but even if you don't want to use the main hero image, how good does that look? And this is one from uh, Linda. Look at that. Okay, so those are the boys. Now we're gonna move on to the girls. The one thing I'm getting here, and I've mentioned a few times actually this hour, is you get a sense of, um, if you've ever read a beautifully illustrated storybook, that's the kind of artwork, the connotations I'm getting from Linda's artwork here. Let me show you this little girl. So this is, we're gonna start from winter and work our way back through. She's gone to post a letter to Santa. She's got a sleigh, a little doggy in there as well. Lovely border coming through. Um, I'll send you a blizzard. Oh, if kisses were snowflakes, I'd send you a blizzard. Isn't that nice? That's very, very cute. Okay, so that's your winter. But then we've got here, now we've got our autumn, the, the characters with the geese. And you've got more lovely elements of borders, corners, leaves, sentiments, beautiful girl. So there's your autumn. Then we have our summer. Summer, so just frolicking on a beautiful swing. But what Barbara showed in the last demonstration as well, how well the sets work together. So if you wanted to put the little boy and the little girl together, they could be swinging together. Could do. There you go. And then finally, we have our April. Oh, I keep saying April because April showers are spring. Uh, so you see that there. So those are all the elements that you are getting. Don't forget, you will be getting the masks as well. And let me just show you the kind of things you could be achieving. So is this something you could imagine making? How beautiful is that from uh, Julie? But if you don't want to do that image, maybe for the inspiration that you're making, it's not fitting. How does that look? So you could just use the border, put a sentiment inside. Uh, that one's another one um, from uh, Julie there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is head back to Barbara. She's got her next demonstration. It's a one day special, but everyone's going for the complete collection. Please become a Freedom member. Take advantage of the flexi payments as well. 40 pounds and 47 pence as a Freedom member, you are saving 38 pounds and 99 pence as a Freedom member. Do take advantage. Barbara, what are we gonna do next? Right, so just now, we, thank you, Yanis. We were looking at the traditional way that you would use an outline stamp, which yep. is, first of all, to mask it off to create the background and then to colour it in. But now we've got what's, and it's on the, on the counter as well, we've got what we're calling backdrop stamps, mm. which are like huge, uh, instant framers. And, uh, and I wanted to show you a couple of pieces uh, that I, I held back. Now, this, for example, Andy Duggan did this and he used the same image that we've just used see yeah. it's the same image but this time it's been created as an as negative it's negative uh. so you're you're appealing to the you're you're ap applying color to the back which which i think is is great so and what he's used here is this backdrop stamp and yeah. this this wall with the with the little recess, the gutter around the outside, it just simply, literally sits over the top. So, so that's um, a perfect example. This is the one we're going to do together. Uh, again, same idea. I've I've flicked a bit of snow at it as well uh -huh. because I'm using the winter stamp, the little boy and the puppy. Yeah. And I'm using the square one. You see. Okay. So these are the little ones. These, these are an essential in your yeah, stash. Yeah, I can um, see it. You can see that. 
And I wanted just while I've got your attention. Yeah. Uh -huh. I wanted to show you another negative. Oh. And again, this is beautiful. It's the little girl so from sweet. the winter set. Love that. So lovely. Yeah, so lovely. And it's a nice and sentiment again, too. Stamped. This is great. So this is stamped. This is uh, um, masked off just like we did before. Yeah. And then all the imagery. If you were watching the two to four show, this could be achieved brilliantly with the um, with the distress oxide sprays, for mm -hmm. example. This would be this is easy to do. Nice. So so there you go. And so I thought we would concentrate on this little fella. OK, thank you, Andy. Beautiful artwork. Beautiful. Mm. And um, so what I want to do is show you where we're going to go with that. Yes, so I'm going to take a piece 15 minutes, Barbara, just to give you a little time check. Yeah, lovely. That's perfect. So what we'll do, first of all, it, first of all, we, I'm giving myself some plenty of wiggle room. So okay. in other words, I'm using a piece of 7x7 seven seven stencil card. And I've got my black archival ink pad to give me some nice... Uh, line art, nice, nice. crisp, fast drying line art. Yeah. I think the archival black is always going to be my go to. Mm. And then we'll mm. tip him over so that he's, yeah, he's definitely, there you are. See, so I'm going to stamp him into place. He's definitely, um, if you ever watch my Dave yeah. <laughs> ice skating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, he's going to appreciate thing you saying that. In your life. <laughs> It's so funny. You know when somebody's on the ice and yeah. then they suddenly go, whoa, 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 like that, and then boof. <laughs> he did. <laughs> it was the best day ever. I'm sorry, Dave, but we it's one of those memories, you know. If you ever go ice skating with Dave again, can you please film it? We'd love to see. I don't think Dave will ever go ice skating again. I think that was a once and never again experience. <laughs> so we're going to put this. We went the whole lot, a, low te a team of us went to the um, the ice skating rink. It was a Christmas treat outside oh. the, um, the, not the V&A, the yeah, Natural History one. Museum. Yes, yeah. Yeah, and so, so we all went for a day out and grace and mark were at home from oh, america nice. and and you know the thing is that they they they're natural you know yeah. they're just like they they can ski they can do they can ice do skating and yeah. they, so they were like whizzing around doing figure eights and the rest of us were all clinging to the side desperately <laughs> <laughs> as you do yeah it was great there's a memory That's what and i remember yeah. saying because i thought i've got to tell you you know i mm. thought Oh, that's because their dad in America, you know, Disneyland dad, he's taken them to yeah. to um, to the ice skating and all that, and they yeah. were all like semi-professional ice skaters. And I and I just said, I just sort of said offhand, I said, um, oh, uh, that was um, California, was it? Yeah. And uh, Grace, and she whizzed past me going backwards doing a pirouette. She went, no, granddad. <laughs> <laughs> My dad used to take him ice skating in Dillingham. She went, oh. no, granddad. <laughs> Hempstead Valley, <laughs> and then <laughs> and I thought, just goes to show you. Good old just granddad. Just goes to show you. Good Whenever old my granddad. mum and dad looked after the kids, yeah, yeah. My dad would take them there. Interesting, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. So while nice I've been story. reminiscing, yeah. I've I've masked off and I've got I'm ready to go. And then this is going to sit literally like that. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do now is take our distress oxides and, and I'll decide which colours I want to use and I'll build my background with a couple of makeup sponges. That's all I want to use. Okay. So I'll, I've, got, I've got one there, I've got another one there, that'll do. So I've got some different bright colours and we'll see what we've got. Come on, let's have a look. So we're going to build a lovely background and we're going to di go directly. Let's do a little bit of this first, it's quicker. Yeah. Right, so we're just going to use a couple of distress oxides. I'll use that one, I'll use a bit of pink mm -hmm. in that corner. And Barbara, um, just as you're I'll doing that, of... do you mind me telling everyone, mm -hmm. uh, the background stamps, especially since we, st uh, backdrop stamps, sorry, uh, especially since we started to use them, have been incredibly busy. Mm -hmm. A third of the stock has gone for those, saving six pounds. I think Barbara put it uh, so beautifully, they are an essential, really. 057 004, your item number. Sorry, Barbara. 
They are. They, they really are an essential. When you, when you start to build your backgrounds with them, you know, they're, they're just a, a delight. Mm. And you just need a makeup sponge. Let me just get some base colour down. Okay. And it takes a little while to build the background. But the thing is, you would, you would do several of these at the same time. You know, you wouldn't yeah. just do one. You'd do several. And then when you start to build, you put other colours on top of other colors so now for example i'm blending in the blue mm -hmm. um maybe i'll take some orange and put some orange in here too oh nice right so you can add a little bit of orange yeah and then uh what other color have i got oh yeah let's i've got a bit too much of that color let's okay. do a bit of that um what's this one crushed olive Ooh. let's do a bit of crushed yeah. olive so we That's i know nice. it's supposed to be snow but i'll get the snow in don't you worry yeah yeah Right, so we'll get a, just get a base in first at the back. Uh -huh. That's the first thing. Yeah. So we're going to get this colour in. So I love these these backdrop stamps. I think these were one of our better ideas. So you just let's have a look. What else have I got? Yeah. Pink on that one. Add a little bit more pink up there. Uh -huh. Because I'm not going to wet. You know, I'm not going to spray this. That's the thing. You see, you can you can spritz this and get a really um, like blistery color, but I'm going to, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going in dry. Yeah. So let me take this, the side of my um, sponge and let me go in to the, actually onto the side like that. See, I'm inking up the side of the sponge. Yeah. And then what I think I'll do is I'll create like a, a, a landscape now. Yeah. See? So I've got my base colour and now I'm going to bring in my landscape. And I'm just, it, you don't have to be too exact, but if you want to bring in a little bit of interest like this, this is the way to do it. You just pick up the edge like that mm. and then you can, you can add colour over the top of other uh, colours. Nice technique. So let's just see where this takes us. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Let's have a look. Right. I reckon this is going to be cool. <laughs> I've got a good feeling oh, about it. have a busy day, Yanis. Yeah. You've had a very busy right, day. Now. You had a very busy day. We have. Mm. So let's have a look. So we've got some nice ink going on on there. And the more the more ink you put on this, the better this will this will turn out. See, I'm thinking that I could probably do with a bit more. Sorry. But if you're going to do it, you might as well do it properly, eh? Yeah, yeah. Of course. I think. Nice. So we are limited to stock on up. our backdrop stamps. They're about to go. So if you do want to get are hold we? of the backdrop Already? stamps. Yeah, I know. Since you started using them, I think happen? a lot of viewers saw the possibilities. Okay, well, let's have a look then. Yeah. So I don't want to make it too light round there, but I don't want okay. to make it too dark round there. Right, okay, that will do. All right, okay, what have we got? That's the... <laughs> I'm going to do it that way round. Yeah. Oh, Barbara, stop dithering. Huh. Right, so we'll pop that in there like so. Nice. And we've got a little bit of the dog protruding. Can you see this all right? Yeah, yeah, we can see it perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Right, and then we're going to just press down. Now, if I'd added a bit of water, um, it would be more blistery. Yeah. But I wanted to do it dry because I want to add some snow over the top. So we're just going to see what, what we get when we do this. It's nice because it's got a bit of lightness in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yes. nice. Barbara, yes, that is, is really, so really nice. Love that. And what we're going to do now is take, because we've got a bit of a halo as well, Yeah. so we're going to add a little bit just to fill in. Do you see around the outside? Uh -huh. it's, it's easy to do. Just It's just to cover up around the outside. Now, if I'd wet it, if I'd added a spritzer bottle, then um, it would, it would, you wouldn't get that halo. However, it might yeah. bleed in underneath the... The mask as well so yeah. i was trying to avoid doing that yeah barbara I just got to so tell everyone at home i'm yeah. sorry to interrupt barbara uh the backdrop stamps are sold no out but they are back on extended delivery they're going to be dispatched on the 15th of february so uh, not long to wait for those so back on extended delivery but if you do want to get hold of them that extended delivery is busy okay sorry barbara cool no don't worry at all don't worry mm -hmm. at all so we've got our now before i remove the masks yeah i want to add a little bit of snow see because okay. it makes quite a difference yeah. there's not enough pink in this one but that's all right you you just it's not exactly hard work is it no so what we're going to do to make a bit of snow we've got uh -huh. choices 
let's have a look. If I if I take the the white, the big fat white Posca pen, which yeah. is also on the show, yeah, I can do one of two things. I can either just dot it around like that. That's an easy way to go, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Just dot it. Or let me show you. Let me just puddle it. If I puddle it first, mm -hmm. you can actually, if you Go if you hit white. it on a ruler, there you go. See how you can get yeah, really yeah. random, right? So you can do this. Oh yeah. And you can get splashes like that as well. I like it. Which both we like. Both ways are good. Both ways are good. It depends entirely how how your if you want little random feeling. ones. Yeah. Then this works well. You I see? think yeah the random. I think I prefer the random actually. I like that. Yeah. I do too. Mm. Right, so and of okay. course we leave the mask in place so that so that we don't get snow all over them and then yeah. obliterate the line art. And then what you'll find is when you take wow. them away. Barbara, are you kidding? That looks so good. That's when it comes to life. I love that. Barbara, that looks fantastic. It's not over till it's over, Yanis, eh? Yeah, no, that really does look good. You've brought that scene to life. It looks 3D. Well when you when you come up close, you can see now, oh, wow. see the white, the yeah. snow. So there you go, a little bit more pink on that one. I like it a little bit better, but it's lovely artwork, lovely imagery, isn't it? Really, really nice. And it's when you, and mm. also the, when you couple the techniques that you're sharing and having the mask, and I'm so glad that you've incorporated the masks with this uh, release, because it does suddenly afford so many more possibilities. <laughs> It so does, you know, and so, um, so, and when you, when you, when you, when it's dried, then you're just gonna let me just put all the lids on here, okay. and what you'll find is then that it's just it's so easy just to trim it back and mount it up. Um, if you want to use um, along the edge, for example, let me just blot, let me just blot the white where it's. I just got to blot it so I don't. Yeah, there you go. It's fine. Normally, you'd you'd clearly you'd um, you'd let that dry. Yeah. You know the Posca pens just let them dry. But you get a really lovely if you if you whack it on the ruler like that, you get a really excellent shattered look. You know that you were talking about. Yes. So that's another a good thing. Um, and then of course it's up to you. Let me just trim this back, mm -hmm. and you'll see. If we trim it back now, I'm just going to use a guillotine to do this. Right. And we can decide now how close we want to get to the artwork. Let's go in that far. And I'm just going to, I just use a trimmer, a paper trimmer. There we go. I think that's fine. And I'm just using this edge, this edge here to, to align. The, see, so that's easy enough. Yeah. And then once I've done that, then I've got choices. But Personally, I would be tempted just to take a, 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 a Posca pen, like a black Posca pen, and then I'm just going to just drag it along that edge and give myself a really lovely... The Posca pens are like paint pens. They're yeah. what we used to use. Well, we, like I ever did a lot of graffiti. <laughs> but you, they are graffiti pens. They're paint pens. Oh, OK. And they're, they're, they're so... They're great. Yeah. They're just excellent. That's nice, Barbara. And you can get a really sharp image like that. Once that's dry, then we'll pop that onto a, onto a, a card blank. And, uh, and there's your finished article. Done. Barbara, um, that and looks that great. Just gets mounted on a card blank. Perfectly timed as well. Love it. There we are. Barbara, thank you so much. Have you enjoyed this hour? I have, yeah, because the two to four show was so frantic, yeah. and uh, and I just needed to I Don't needed worry. to come in line with Linda Williams' beautiful, gentle yeah. artwork, and I hope that I, I I achieved that. You really did, Barbara. Thank you so much, uh, Barbara. You're going to be. I know later on we're going to be hanging out with Paul, and he's going to have a look at the groovy. Are you going to be back tomorrow with the one day special, or would it be Paul? Tomorrow morning, at eight o'clock. I'm Great. on. I'm on call at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock in the morning, and then ten o'clock's the Shack Shack. So business as usual tomorrow. Excellent, Barbara. Thank you so much. I've really enjoyed this hour. Great to see you. Uh, thank you. And hopefully we will see you again very soon. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, just got like a minute or thanks, two left. Uh, thanks, Barbara. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm just going to show you some finished samples, and I think it's a way to really enjoy it. 30% uh, of the stock has gone 
for the complete bundle. And I'm going to talk about the complete bundle because that's where uh, the majority of the interest is. So let's have a look at some completed examples. So this is from Andy, showing that technique that Barbara just shared. So having that negative at the front, but so effective because Linda still giving you the character, even before you coloured in, is impressive. Or well, how about this? So there's your spring. Then we'll move on to our summer with the boys. That's clever, really imaginative from Jane, how she's used uh, the frame there and create that limb for the uh, tree. Over here, this is beautiful. Think of designer papers. This one is from Sheila. How beautiful is that? I'm gonna show you another one, this is winter. Got to be quick because I know time's going to beat us. Now we're going to get onto the girls. So could you imagine doing something like this? Designer papers work so well. Or how about here? Or maybe this. So it's the possibilities that Linda has afforded you. Thank you so much for joining us. Complete Collection, very quickly, if you do go for the Complete Collection, please become a Freedom member. You are not saving 10 pounds, you're actually saving 38 pounds and 99 pence because the 20 pounds saving from the one day specials already factored in and your first flexi payment is 40 pounds and 47 pence. Thanks for joining.